Hey folks, welcome back to If Let's Them Play, where I forgot about what we were talking about. The Internet Apocalypse. Right. Okay, so we were playing Overwatch, not um, your wife. We were playing... <laughs> not, we weren't playing my wife. Yeah, we were playing your hooker. Um, and <laughs> Whoa. Last episode for context, by the way. That's not as... I mean, it's still pretty bad, but it's not Was as Was that bad. like a warning it's not quite as bad. I don't know, just in case they were like, excuse me? Um, last episode, if you didn't know, it's for context. Jeez, um, if so, you're in middle school, please stop watching. I mean, doesn't everyone watch Let's Plays in middle school? Sure. I, I mean, whatever. I don't really care, but like, I'll if saw, you're offended... I'll talk, I'll talk about all of, um... I, wasn't, I didn't think people would be offended necessarily, it's just like, that's like, it's just a su super weird statement if you like, don't know. If it's like, say you just came onto our channel, like, that's the first thing you heard, be like, what? So... I mean, I about. would subscribe. <laughs> Immediately. <laughs> These aren't Spanish, they're English. Thanks, Whoa. mate. Whoa. Whoa! What if you were just like, whoa? To the great tower. I was just like, <laughs> whoa! Wow. Wow. So you wow! Whoa! So anime character. <laughs> so Francis Drake made it, but what happened to him? Whoa! He got shot at. Um, so, Internet Apocalypse. We were playing Overwatch. Oh, right in the and, um, and suddenly our game like stopped working. And we were all in a Skype call. It was like five of us in a Skype call. And then our game stopped working. We're like, huh, that's weird. And then all of a sudden, we all saw that like it's told us that we were offline on Skype. Everyone else was offline and couldn't connect to anyone. And we're like, huh, that's weird. And then we go to try to go onto websites. And neither of us can get into any websites. And we're, and we're all like, huh, that's weird. And... Yeah, and but even though our computers could not get onto any games or get onto any websites or anything, our Skype call kept going. Yeah, dude, it was legitimately terrifying. It was like midnight, and we're all talking to each other, and we're all freaking out, and it was just really funny. What's going on? What is this? Is the world over? You know, it was really good. And then one of our friends decided to log on, log off, just to see if he could restart his computer and get internet back. And we were like, don't do it, don't do it, but he did it anyways. And then he called me. Well, his power went out, right? Uh, well, no, then, then he called me on my cell phone a little while, a little while, a little bit later, like, I don't know, five minutes later, and he's, and he says, dude, my power's out. And we're like, no! <laughs> what? So I wonder if he was able to start his computer up, like, before the power went out. Like, I wonder if he turned off his computer and his power went out. I, yeah, I don't know. I didn't get the deets on that. Cause like, like that should not have happened. Yeah. How, how the hell were we still talking? Okay. How I the hell know. were we still talking to each other? I don't know. Like that makes absolutely no sense. The oh, internet was all man. down. Like everything, we could not do a thing except our Skype call kept going. Um, I mean, I have a degree in computer science. I don't know how that happened. If someone else out there knows more about computer science than me, uh, tell me how that happened. Cause I really would like to know. Yeah, Zach's pretty good at computer science, too, so, like, good yeah. luck. My best guess, and I don't know how... I'm not in networking... You know, I've taken networking courses. I know the basics of networking, but it's not my specialty. You're not a networking um, guru? No, no. That's more of an IT thing anyways, isn't it? What, um, networking? Yeah. Uh, kind of. So, I... Um, so, my best guess is that maybe, like, since... Maybe, like... It was having trouble grabbing IPs, so that's why it couldn't connect to anything. But since we were in a Skype call, it already had the IPs necessary for that already, because it's like a continuing connection as opposed to like the intermittent connections that everything else is. So I don't know. That's my best guess. It's not a good well, one. Well, Skype uses one. a proprietary protocol, right? Yeah, and Skype has its own oh. server, um, and it's not peer. It's not directly peer to peer. Um, there's a there's a Microsoft server in the middle. And your messages go to that server and then get redistributed to the, f the people on the other sides. Right. So, I don't know exactly how it works. I think, is Discord peer-to-peer? -peer? No, it's not because you host the server. Mm -hmm. There are other ones that are peer-to-peer. -peer. That's not a peer-to-peer -peer system. Um, Anyways, enough of that. Well, I just, I don't know. I thought it was weird because, like, well, we're, we're all proud subscribers of Comcast. And, uh, right? I mean, who who isn't? But In this area, at least. 
Well, no, I mean, like, everybody hates Comcast. Yeah. In any region. <laughs> like, gotcha. they're, they're known for being I shitty. thought you meant that we all here have Comcast, oh, whereas well, other places yeah. don't, but yeah. Uh, well, we, we have Comcast, and, um, every, like, all of us had Comcast, and all of us were down, so we weren't sure if it was a Comcast problem, or, like, what. Um, there might have been, like, a car somewhere that hit, like, a really important line. Yeah, well, the thing is, and people at home don't really quite know this, but, uh, but Pete does not live close to me at all. Well, I mean, we're, we're, I mean, I drive over here, like, once or twice a week to do recording, it, so it's not that bad. He's chewing his ear or something. Sorry, mates, Doug is crying. Yeah, he's probably just eating his ear and it's getting sad because um, it hurts. <laughs> Ow, I bit my ear. Ow, I bit my ear. Ow, my ear. Um, so... So, uh, so yeah, Pete doesn't live right near me or the rest of us. We were all kind of spread out. Um, well, okay, me, my brother, and one of our friends all live really close to each other, uh, all in the same town. But then Pete and our other friend live in very different areas, so we were wondering how Wait, the heck. Who's our other friend? Matt. Oh, okay. Yeah, Matt, who's on the doesn't show. Doesn't live near you? Matt. Yeah, Matt was on the show. He doesn't live near me. He lives in Little Egg. Oh, uh, okay. Oops. I thought that was like... Uh, well, oh well. <laughs> Sorry, Matt. Sue us. Um, Sue us. Yeah, no. I th okay, by the way, I'm not sure if you saw that. I definitely shot him in the yeah. head the last time and nothing yeah. happened. Wait, what? Am I supposed to do something? Okay, never mind. I forgot this happens. Um, this next episode, uh, this next uh, level coming up is actually really cool, by the way. This is a lot of, this is like a pretty long cutscene, so I'm not sure like you. how much you want to pay attention. Basically, I jub myself and I Elena's gonna save me. Gotcha. And then we get more exposure to like another evil guy. Um, oh, that's so sweet. Yeah, so, okay, I, but I figured that, that was like, uh, well, I'm not sure how much further we should discuss that now that we disclose this information, whatever. Yeah. I'm sure there's a bunch of those towns like around the world. Like, it's, it might be like a Springfield, you know? Yeah, I don't. I don't know. Just like, oh, I live in Springfield. Maybe what? I, 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 I no, give, I give it a bleep. I give, I give it a bleep. bleep. I give it a bleep. Anywho, um, so yeah, uh, we do not live right near each other. Um, it's, it's no, no near, no. It's like you know, forty minutes or whatever. So it's not, it's not that bad. But still, it's not close enough where I think that a car hitting a pole would affect all of that whole region. Yeah, maybe um, like a capacitor blew or something. Too bad it was. It was like one o'clock in the morning, so we couldn't ask people. Anyone well, I was else? calling Comcast, and as I was calling Comcast, everything was fine. Like I was literally on hold, and then like everything came up, and I was like, "Whoa!" Ah, oh, it's Pete. Get it back up, real fast. That's what she said. This Comcast. Oh. <laughs> Sorry. That's what Comcast said. If you ask me. <laughs> I, I actually thought you said. Um, Something, something else. But I mean, never mind. We're not gonna dwell on that. They can't even go outside to take okay. a piece without an Well then. And I have nothing to show for it. Yeah. So basically, what this dude's really angry about is that Nate's killing literally his entire army, and he's one person. Which is interesting, because you know that wouldn't happen in real life. Yes, that happens a lot in video games. <laughs> this guy's an asshole, by the way. I can tell. Oh, Eddie, the girl's long gone. This is pretty cool, though, because I'm not sure if you noticed, but she um, yes. is, like, putting a hook in the background, and he's, like, stalling for her. You are never very good at poker. I will find her. Trust me. Does he know him from a while ago? Yeah. He says you're never good at poker. Yeah, um, the, the treasure hunting business is small, so most of the treasure hunters have met each other before. Gotcha. And have either worked with each other before. I believe him, like, I believe these two have actually worked together before. <laughs> Um, there was a PSP Uncharted that a lot of people don't know about, um, and I believe he worked with him in that one, but this came out before that. Did you play that one? I did not, but I've seen it played. Gotcha. Uh, only because I don't have a PSP, so. There's a PSP Sonic. Unfortunately. Kind of oh, really? Yeah. Which one is it? Sonic Rivals. It's yeah. not very good. So, sorry, I did not mean to ask you that question and immediately detract from that. Um, what I really like about, about this it. level is that we're on the back of a car and we're shooting grenades and guns. Awesome. And I really enjoy that. It's not ducking behind walls. It's a little break from ducking behind walls. Yes, it's it's a big change up. And what I like about it, oh, okay, as I as I die, <laughs> is uh, I was just about to say it's not like too hard. Like it's it's challenging, but like at the same time also right. fun. Yeah, it's, okay. scenery is very beautiful here. They did really good work, but I guess especially with this scene, they could really focus um, on like densely because this. 
shot is a pretty tight shot and the cameras and the camera is so scripted mm -hmm. they can like make sure they're only putting the trees in that you'll see yeah that's true so they true. can really focus on making this area and if, and this this um this forest only has to look good from this angle so you don't have to draw the other sides of the trees yeah definitely i'm sure they probably are fully modeled so that um so they can turn the tree around because they don't have to make, they don't have to make an individual model for each tree so they just rotate the trees oh yeah that's what most game designers do is that I think that's so weird. Like not like not like that that's like inefficient or anything. I just it's it's weird when you look at the back end of game design and you see like it, it literally looks like a movie studio. Like you yes. know what I mean sometimes? Mm -hmm. Yes. It's like, oh it's just like it's just a stage. Yes. It's like, whoa. I don't know. I think that's kinda weird. I've thought about that stuff for a very long time. Um I remember playing games as a kid and noticing that the skybox was literally a box. And being like, Whoa. what game did you notice that in? Um, well, okay, it wasn't a box. Um, I noticed that in, uh, well, there's this Lego Racers game. And that's not too good. <laughs> I noticed that if you got closer to like, the edge of the map, like it just looked like, like you could see the, the pattern on the sky kind of moving. Okay. I noticed in Sonic games how there was usually a cylinder. It was usually a cylinder, and it followed Sonic, and things would like pass into the cylinder. So it's almost like they had this giant cylinder at the skybox, and it was actually mm -hmm. tied to Sonic. Huh. So when you move, you can see it when you play SA2 if you look really carefully at certain levels. That the skybox actually moving, you can see things come into the skybox in the distance because like they That's pass cool. through the wall, you know. Um, and I noticed that, uh, I noticed in the game Harvest Moon, which I used to love as a kid, um, I noticed how the sky there had, like, a texture painted on it, like, an animated texture painted onto it, hmm. and that would change from day to day, stuff like that. That was a really popular game. Harvest Moon is a Wonderful Life? I, yeah, well, I, don't they have several? Yeah, they do. Uh, I know a lot of my friends used to play Harvest Moon. I've never, I've never played it, but I've seen it played. It looked fun. It's just really relaxing. Um, it's like Animal Crossing. Was, farm. Yep. I was gonna say, it reminds me of Animal Crossing. Yeah. And that's why I could never get into Animal Crossing, because I was like, where's the farming? <laughs> Jeez. Is that like, is that, was that your sole appeal to that type of game? No, um, I, so I never played uh, an Animal Crossing game. Not because I, really? not, yeah, I never played one. Oh, it's so fun. I just never owned one. Uh, they looked fun. They always looked fun, but I never quite saw what the hook was. And I guess you just have to play it and get into the mood and get into the feel, and then it makes sense to you. I think that's the kind of game it is. Mm -hmm. But with Hardest Moon, like, I was, I was thinking, did, were you controlling her then? No. No, I'm not driving at all. I'm just... So she just kills you? Oh, you well, have to blow it up before you get Yeah, there. and I missed. Gotcha. There we go. So... With Harvest Moon, I understood it because there was the farming, so I was like, the farming is the hook. That's what makes this game work. Um, that's the motive. That's how you earn money. That's how you do things. You mm -hmm. do things through the farming. Uh, and then you have a wider life with the other characters, and that's how you, uh, and that's how you progress with other characters. Okay. So I kind of saw... I kind of saw what they were going for with it, but I never really played... Again, of Animal Crossing games, so I can't understand why I have not played. You know, um, I mean, there, it's 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 one of those time waster games. Like, yeah, you just play it, and there's not really a point to it, but right. like it, you just, it's addicting. I also really liked how uh, in Animal Crossing, I'm sorry, in uh, Harvest Moon, you actually like got a family and stuff. I thought that was super weird at the time. Yeah, that you was actually, really weird. You actually get engaged, and then you have, and then you get married, and you have a kid. And, like, we would sometimes, I mean, like I said, I haven't played Harvest Moon, so correct me if I'm wrong, but I remember, I think I remember my friends mentioning how they would, like, marry someone to, like, help get their land or something like that. Was that a thing? Um, like, could you there's, a lot of different, there's a lot of different Animal Crossing, um, Animal Crossing, jeez. A lot of different Harvest Moon games, all of varying complexity, actually. The one okay. I liked was called It's a Wonderful Life, and that's a more simple one, people say. Uh, strangely enough, wow, this is really pretty, jeez. Yeah. Oh, this, that looks so good. Um... <laughs> I wanted to like, go there for a picnic or something. Well, not this place. Well, actually, that's pretty cool too. For a second, I thought it were like it was like a like slums or something. Anyways, uh, so I was um. What was I saying? This is a pretty cool scene, by the way. I no, keep talking. I'm just yeah, yeah. No, I'm, I'm definitely watching. I'm watching all this. Let's get the hell out of here. No, like I said, feel free to keep talking. Sure, I just, sure. I was just mentioning that this is a cool scene. Um, so uh, what was I saying? Oh. So you have a family and stuff. I thought that was so weird. Um, but yeah, they're all there's a bunch of different ones. They're all varying complexities. Some of them 
some really complex stuff can happen and you can really change your entire destiny by like what you who you become friends with and who you marry and like your kids can change and they can do stuff or whatever but from what i understand the one i play was a more simple streamlined one gotcha. it's just the one i own take it easy buddy well you're out of luck now but you can get uh what i thought was really crazy is that you can um you can't actually um, have your wife leave you. Yeah. Because, oh, really? Yeah, yeah, in the one I had, even. Um, and what, what you do is you don't farm at all, and then and you do, you sleep, all you do is sleep for an entire year. <laughs> you sleep for an entire year, and then she's going to ask you a series of questions, and you're like, at the end of the year, she asks you a series of questions, and you respond literally every, any, jeez. Yeah, dude. He went balls to the wall. You respond literally, I don't care, to every question she gives you. <laughs> and then she says, well, we're out. And she takes the kid and leaves. Oh my god, that's amazing. Except for one of the wives. Guess which one your boy married. <laughs> oh shit. <laughs> She's the one that doesn't say anything. I didn't even know. I didn't even know the She doesn't say anything. I didn't even know that that was in the game, you know, uh, at the time. Wow. Uh, I had no clue. Just tons of the little secret things in those games I, I I never knew existed. I I didn't get that far considering how long the game is. Like Zach always said, women should be seen, not heard. No, just kidding. <laughs> women jokes are really shitty. I didn't I didn't mean anything offensive about what I said. I no, no, saying, no, no. I was I was I was making a shitty joke and then just yeah. making sure that people knew that I'm I was not actually I like chose that. The, I was just saying I chose the stalwart one, you know. When your boy married. And gonna... next time, if less than play. Whoa, is that time? Uh, it's been that time, actually. Oh shit! I you know, I kind of felt it. I wanted to see that driving sequence all the way through. Okay, that that makes sense. Next time, if less than play, we'll give you more dating advice. Hmm. So, uh, audio can catch my voice, but, um, wait, fuck, yes, Expression. yes, it can, that's what audio does, that's what it's there for. Fucking subscribe, leave me alone, bye. Uh, meh. Meh. Eh? What does that mean? You're not sure if you can keep it? Eh.